Hello everyone and welcome to this week's reviews. The new Dave Bautista comedy recently delayed its American release to April 17th, but the good news is it's still opening in Canada tonight. So if you live in the United States, I guess this is a super early review. And if you live in Australia, you probably think I'm late. In any case, what do I think of the former wrestler teaming up with a young girl on a secret mission? This is My Spy. The premise of My Spy is admittedly a familiar one, as it's very much in the vein of something like Kindergarten Cop and Cop and a Half. However, I quite liked My Spy, and a large amount of the credit goes to the two leads. Bautista and his young co-star, Chloe Coleman, work really well off each other and exhibit solid comedic timing. Coleman is able to portray her character's smarts while still making her seem like a child and Bautista gets laughs out of how he openly talks about some of his more violent tendencies. The way he eventually warms up to and befriends this girl is actually rather sweet. Kristen Schaal is also really funny as his surveillance expert. The humor is surprisingly dark at points, but I also admire that they actually went that far, although parents who might be interested in taking their offspring to this should probably be aware of the action violence and the saltier language in this family comedy. The action is well directed, both the hand-to-hand -hand combat scenes and the car chases. There's also a bit of a self-awareness as these are characters who are aware of the spy movie cliches. The mission itself is a bit of a MacGuffin as it mostly exists as a way to get Bautista and Coleman together. There is a villain, but he's the standard bad guy you see in these kinds of movies. Something that was unintentionally funny is that while My Spy is set in Chicago, it was actually filmed in Toronto. And while a few signs are put up here and there, and they change some license plates, it's otherwise really obvious, and they don't do much to hide this. I did not knock points off for this, but it's amusing nonetheless. Overall, the movie has fun with its premise, and I enjoyed seeing the two actors bounce off each other. Next up is the controversial action movie, finally hitting screens after much balahu, This is The Hunt. This is a movie that is pretty much intent on satirizing the current political climate as it takes pot shots at both sides of the aisle. However, I felt its strengths were more in the action than in the social commentary. Director Craig Zobel puts together some solid action sequences, with an emphasis on the brutal ways the cast is offed. This is not a serious movie in the least, with the gore closer to what you might see in a Friday the 13th sequel. There are also well choreographed fight scenes, mostly involving the lead protagonist played by Betty Gilpin. She gives a great performance, capturing her suspicions about the situation she finds herself in and successfully delivering her more deadpan comedic lines. Ike Barinholtz is also really good and provides some funny moments of his own. This is not a movie that takes sides, although I guess we do mostly root for Gilpin. The characters in this are all flawed people, only thinking of themselves and priding themselves in being superior to others. So that's kind of admirable. However, the satire falls short, primarily because it feels like the filmmakers are making a checklist of buzzwords and terms to address. There is not a hint of subtlety, as they drop terms you see all the time on your social media platforms, just because these are the in words right now. But they never feel natural. It makes me wonder how the film will age in 10 years when we've moved on to other buzzwords. The Hunt is very much a product of the period it was filmed in. So it's a flawed film, but not without its moments, and will certainly inspire plenty of debate about what the filmmakers are saying. I will say, all the fuss and controversy that erupted was completely overblown. Thank you for watching this week's reviews, and I'll see you next time.